Riverside has now made it even easier to live stream to multiple destinations. Not only can you connect multiple platforms and simulcast to YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitch, and more, but with our Live Studio add-on, you can customize the branding of your studio, stream to 1080p, but now anyone who live streams with Riverside gets a new OmniChat feature where you'll see all the comments from different platforms like YouTube and Twitch all in one place, and you'll be able to respond to all of them all without leaving your Riverside studio. Let me show you how it works. Let's jump into one of our Riverside studios. You see I have some studio branding here in the lobby. That's available to our Riverside business platform customers. But let's jump into the studio and actually adjust that. I can click this palette tool here at the top, choose a different style for our names, choose a different color scheme like Prismatic. And just so you know, all Riverside users get access to two themes, namely the Riverside and Newsflash theme. And with that Live Studio add-on, you get access to all of these colors, plus the ability to add a custom brand color or even background image to your studio. Now let's connect some live streaming destinations so we can simulcast everywhere and use the new OmniChat feature. I'll expand our new live stream tools here and I can choose to live stream to the Riverside platform using the audience link. And in audience mode, your viewers can actually use the live call-in feature. If you wanna learn more about that, I'll put an entire video on audience mode above and down in the description. Then underneath that, I can click this plus button and add all of these social destinations, including custom RTMP servers. Once I've logged into Twitch, I'll see that here, and I can continue to add other destinations like YouTube channels, X accounts, and more. I could also invite some remote guests to join me by clicking the invite button here. I'll send that guest link out, and then they'll actually join me and be live streamed as well. I can also share my screen and even use media board files, and all of this content will go to the live stream to every destination, plus I get high quality recording for me, my remote guests, and any media board or screen share files there'll be separate tracks for all of that on the recordings page. Now when I'm ready to start recording and live streaming to all those destinations, I'll click go live here at the bottom. Once we've begun, I'm recording in high quality here in Riverside, and the live stream is now going to all of those destinations as well. I can click the live stream menu up here again, and then if I wanna preview any of those live streams, I can just click on that logo and it will load the stream on that platform. And here's the live stream right here in Twitch, started very quickly and it's going to YouTube and any other destination I added. Now, when someone sends a message in that Twitch chat, I can go over to the chat window here and you'll see the new live stream chat option here. That's our Omni chat. And there's the user that sent the message. Plus I can see the platform that they sent that from with the little icon next to their profile. Then if I wanna send a message out to all the platforms, I can type a message here and you can see that message showed up right here in the Twitch stream. And anyone who's tuning in with the Riverside audience mode feature will also see that chat. Let's send out that audience link. Maybe we wanna post it on social media. Instead of guest, I'll choose audience, copy that link. And this is what it looks like for someone to be joining via audience mode. They also see a chat window. And if they send a message from their platform, I'll also see it here in the Omni chat with the little Riverside logo next to his profile icon. Do keep in mind that your viewers on YouTube or Twitch will not see the chat from other users on different platforms. So if you're gonna do a Q and A or answer questions, you can say things like John tuning in from Riverside audience mode or Kendall on Twitch and Bridget on YouTube. And that's an easy way to let people know you're streaming on all those platforms at the same time. If you wanna download a copy of the entire chat after your live stream, just click this download icon here and you actually get a text file with timestamps in every chat that happened during the live stream. So that's our OmniChat feature where you can see message from every platform and send messages out to all your destinations. But if I go back, you'll see we also have the studio chat option. So if you wanna send messages privately either to the host, producers, or guests that are being recorded in the studio, they can see these messages privately and that won't go out to all those social destinations. You can also see how many people are tuning in live from each platform here. And with the Riverside Live Studio add-on, you can also upgrade to 1080p live streaming and remove the Riverside watermark. When I'm done streaming and recording, I'll just click the stop button here at the bottom. You and your remote guest files will all be uploaded to the Riverside dashboard. And then you can take advantage of the Riverside editor and put it all together. There you can edit content just by deleting text and phrases. You can use our new image and text overlay features. Plus we have even more features coming to the editor. So subscribe to the channel. You can learn about those soon. And we have our AI tools like magic audio, smooth speech, remove silences, and a ton more. If you have any questions about our new Omni chat or live studio add-on, which brings up to 1080p live streaming and removing the Riverside watermark, in addition to custom studio branding, leave comments below this video. I'll answer you there. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as new features are coming all the time. Hit that like button. And if you want more information about our live studio add-on, I'll put a video about that right up here. And if you're looking to upgrade your studio setup, maybe for higher video quality, audio, and for your live streams, I'll put a video on that right up here. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.